Hi kids, it's Auntie Wendy here. Let me ask you a question. Was there a time where you felt very, very scared? If so, what was it that helped you feel safe and not scared anymore? You know what kids, I remember this one time I was very scared. When I was a little bit younger, I was very scared of public speaking. Speaking in front of a crowd was really scary. I remember I had to do a speech in front of my whole classroom. That's 30 people. That is so scary. But you know what? I had my best friend with me. She gave me a big hug and told me just to look at her while I was doing the speech and I'll do just fine. And wow, I was so happy my best friend was there. Having her there with me that day made me feel less scared and a lot safer. Kids, where do you go when you're scared? Is it to crawl into mummy and daddy's bed and give them a cuddle? Or is it hugging your favourite toy? Today's story is on Joshua 20. It's a story about how God gives his people a safe place to be. A safe city. A city of refuge. A place they can go to when they feel scared. Have a listen. This man is running. He is so, so scared. He did something really bad. He didn't mean to do it, but now his friend is hurt and he might not get better at all. What can he do? Someone might think he meant to do it and punish him. If you lived in Israel and this happened to you, God made a way for you to be safe. You could run to a city. It was called a city of refuge or a safe place city. You could run to this place and tell the priest what happened. They would listen to you and judge fairly. You could stay there and be safe from harm. Safe place cities were God's idea. He knew that sometimes people get accused of things they did not do and sometimes bad things happened by accident. God told Joshua to have a safe place cities all over Israel. He wanted them to be close to get to if you needed safety and a fair decision. And the roads and signposts to these cities were to be kept in good conditions so it was easy to be there. God provided a refuge, a safe place for his people Israel in their time of need. He did this because of his great kindness and because he always does the right thing. The Bible often talks about God being our safe place or refuge. When we do wrong things and sin, we are guilty. We deserve punishment too. But remember that God is kind and he always does the right thing. He has provided a safe place for us to run to. It's not a city with roads or signs. It's Jesus. Jesus is our safe place, our refuge. Because Jesus died on the cross to pay the price for our sin, we can run to Jesus, trust in him, and find forgiveness, the safest place ever. Nothing can ever separate us from God's love once we trust in Jesus. And how amazing is that? Be strong and courageous, the Lord of the ages. Be strong and courageous, the Lord of the ages holds all his little ones safe. Do not fear the fire, God, do not fear the fire, do not fear the waters, do not fear the waters, do not fear the thunder, do not fear the thunder. Jesus has conquered them all. Be strong and courageous, the Lord of the ages holds all his little ones safe by his side. Be strong and courageous, the Lord of the ages holds all his little ones safe. Do not fear the darkness. Sadness, you see, do not fear the sadness, do not fear the sickness, do not fear the sickness. Jesus has 
has conquered them all. Be strong and courageous, the Lord of the ages holds all his little ones safe by his side. Be strong and courageous, the Lord of the ages holds all his little ones safe. Do not fear the enemy. Jesus has conquered them all. Be strong and courageous. The Lord of the ages holds all his little ones safe by his side. Be strong and courageous. The Lord of the ages holds all his little ones safe. Holds all his little ones safe.